All right, what's up, people, man? Hey, I want to talk about this John Wayne Gacy motherfucker, man. Where the, the Jeffrey Dahmer shit is wicked, crazy. I don't think it get no worse. But this motherfucker comes in a close second to this motherfucker. All these crazy, deranged, psychopathic, European-American motherfuckers are sick. And the common thing they got is they're a bunch of homo-ass motherfuckers. Who try to deny what they are, but this motherfucker John Wayne Gacy takes the cake. Here he is as a, a, a party clown. This is him as a three-year-old photo back in childhood. But this sick motherfucker was up there murdering young youth inside his home to where they finally break the case. They end up finding about close to 30 bodies, about 28, I'll say. A human body remains under his house, uh, one in the garage under concrete, and... You know, it was just weird, man. Like I said, I'm going to do the video uh, live on this shit on my YouTube channel, Box Conversations with Reggie Owens. Uh, well, I've been starting to do these videos on these crazy motherfuckers to kind of look back into some of these uh, tragic tales in, in, in American history with sick fucks. And it's always a common tale with all this shit. And the common denominator is failed police work. Police that give privilege to white motherfuckers. Give privilege to homosexual white motherfuckers out there doing shit. But it was also a thing of the way in which they treated homos back there and shit. Uh, I guess that's the acceptable word to say. Uh, I could say worse shit. But uh, I'm going to look into this shit because it's crazy how this shit gets cracked. And how it almost fell because of the police ignoring a lot of shit. But this dude also back in the 60s had did some shit to a little dude, to a boy who was uh, the son of some congressional person sodomizing, doing a bunch of gay ass shit with this kid and gets caught out there in Iowa. He's married at the time with two kids and unbeknownst to his wife, or maybe his wife knew that shit because they was off into some weird shit, that he gets 10 year jail sentence for sodomy and shit. And then while in prison, they treated him because of what? He's white, treating him with all type of special privilege, He's all all featured in news interviews and all this other. You would have thought he was at a country club rather than prison. And then they let him out from this 10 year sentence due to a year and a half. Then leaves, go out to Chicago and then starts this criminal homicidal shit, killing people, uh, uh, drugging them, cuffing them, doing all type of uh, 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 gay ass shit with them then strangling them to death and then burying them on this house, but also with the assistance of two other teens that he had working for him that he's also doing homo shit with that he kept alive. These street-minded uh, young cats. And they'll dig the holes under the house, drag the bodies into the holes, and he was stacking them on top of each other. Then when he had no more space to put these bodies under the home, he ended up dumping one over a, a bridge or some shit or a couple of them off of uh, bridges and shit. But uh, this this is some real psychopathic shit, and these are kind of cases and story that kind of get washed away, um, you know, with the fading of time. As time moves on, people tend to, you know, let certain shit go in uh, the history of this ill shit in America. Especially America loves to hide the shit, especially when the people look like uh, some of the whitewashing um, uh, uh, revisionists of America. But not here with me. Keep that shit old funky. Because I'm anti-whitewashing. Just like to speak bold truth on shit. But uh, I'm going to be doing that shit later tonight on my YouTube channel. Talking about uh, listen, looking at documentaries and giving like opinions on that shit. On my boxing channel on uh, YouTube. But I'll catch you guys. Peace.